Okay, I also have today a kind of mini haul from my thrift store, vintage store, etc. shopping today. And I'm not going to show you any of the clothes or food because that's kind of... can't really do it on a webcam in your dining room. Um, but, let's see. I got this messenger bag, which will replace my current messenger bag or a purse thing. Um, I normally walk to work and so I like to be able to have something that is not a backpack but I can put there's so many pockets on this thing it's just amazing. I already put my stuff for work for Monday in here. So I have like this little expanding file, I just keep my paper calendar in there and then if I need to take any documents home or anything with me, and there's pens in there. Um, so this might not look that great when I'm wearing a dress, but this is going to be great for walking to work and um, there's just a lot of pockets. There's like one here, um, then the main pocket. Or this isn't even the main pocket. There's one here, and then there's the main pocket, and there's a pocket inside, and then there's the one where I have my folder, and then there's like one in the back. So this is really great, and I wish that I found this when I was looking to replace my messenger bag. Um, I don't have it out here right now, but I have this red purse that I got at JCPenney that's also rather large like this and will fit documents in it but it's just not really me and it's um so I got this at the vintage store for twelve dollars and it's originally from American Eagle Outfitters and I have no idea if like the patches that are on here were original or if someone added those but they're the iron-on patches and so they're ironed on and like this one can see is pulling up and I'm not that great at sewing but I've done some embroidery before and I kind of want to um, I'm gonna try re-ironing these and then um, there's also this really cool bros on the side I think I'm going to actually sew them onto the bag that is it will be a little bit difficult just because of the way the bag is made. And this is like duck cam canvas, like if you have a pair of canvas cards, it's that kind of material. So it's gonna be super sturdy. It's like almost a military issue. I guarantee you, if you go to American Eagle Outfitters now, you're not gonna find canvas bag like this, not even for. So that's the problem with going to regular stores nowadays is you're you're not gonna pay a huge amount of money but if you wanted a higher quality product like say you had the money and you were willing to pay more for it you can't even buy it like you can't go to American Eagle Outfitters and be like I wanna pay two hundred dollars for a really great bag cuz they're gonna have the cheap bag that's you know they've marked up and are gonna make a profit on they're gonna have like a super cheap bag that costs like two dollars to make that they're gonna sell you for forty dollars and it's just going to be crap. So you should look around at rummage sales, thrift stores, vintage stores, on eBay, and you should buy the older products that are higher quality rather than just going to the store and buying something new because it's just going to be crap. And since most fashion is recycled anyways, kind of watch what the trends are and then you know, you're going to pay more for something that's in style right now. Like if you look for it on eBay and it's something that's in trend um, for this fall, it's going to be more than something that's not. Just because the seller, you know, there's the demand for it. So anyways, not about the bag and how crappy products are today. I got these at the thrift store. They're like the cute, cutest mittens ever. Um... I don't think I've really worn mittens since I was like seven years old or something, like in first grade. Um, but these are just super cute. And um, I'm way into snow sports. 
So their wool, they'll help, you know, they won't get super wet. Um, but they just put these out today. These were like about $8, like maybe $7.98. Um, and, you know, I've seen mittens like this. Of course, they're made from like llama or um, alpaca wool. But I've seen mittens similar to this selling for $70. $80. Awesome! Cool. Alright. Well, I guess I guess we should do this first. I got more nail polish. I got, um, this is Nicole by OPI. Nicole. Um, and this is a Kardashian color. And, yeah, you know, my opinion of Kim Kardashian right now is about zero. But this one is called Hard Court Fashionista. So I guess this is like Courtney's color. It's like a super dark brown. And I haven't tried it yet. Um, but I think it'll look really cool with the orange. Because So I'm going to play with it tomorrow. I'm excited. Well, so I got that at Walmart. It was like $7. And the reason that I had gone to Walmart is I was looking for these. Uh... I don't know if every Walmart everywhere no longer carries Fiskars. Oh, it's backwards because I'm using my webcam. Um, but these are Fiskars fabric scissors, and that's what I went to Walmart looking for, and they didn't have them anymore. So I got these at Joanne Fabrics. These were $17.99. And I just have some um, old shirts that I want to cut off. Oh, but these are cool because, can you see this? You can keep them flat while you're potting. Um, I'm, I'm just cutting fabric up into strips. I'm going to make like some, I don't know what I'm thinking I'm going to make. I don't know if I'm going to cut rags or if I'm going to make like art, like cut strips and make art or make a hot pad or I don't know what I'm going to do. Um. We'll see. But I have two work shirts that are just like, ugh. They're like threadbare. I ripped it out prior. Um, so one of them was like hand-me-down. The other one I got at a thrift store when I was working in another state. I've had them for three years, so they're just gone. I picked up the November issue of Sunset because I had some really great recipes and I was looking um, was at my boyfriend's mom's house last weekend I was like oh they look so good I can't even find them for you like okay yes exotic mushrooms doesn't that look yummy like I almost I don't really want to get a magazine subscription because I don't always look at stuff and then it just sits around and you're like, oh I don't want to throw it out or recycle it because I paid money for it. But really, do you want like a bookcase full of magazines that you never use? Um but I guess you can get a subscription to this and it's really cool if you live in the western United States because sometimes they'll have like um vacation stuff or stores, um, like there's a place in here where I can buy like freshly milled specialty wheat or something, um, that's in the, you know, nearby. Um, so it can help you, like if you're planning a weekend trip or something and you live in the western United States, it'll feature like really cool stuff. Um, if you buy, I think this, the cover price on here, it was like Four ninety five or something. So if you did want to get sunset, sunset, would recommend a subscription. Okay, and then the other thing I got. There's another one of these, but it's not in this room right now, so I have to pause it. This is a train case, and um, this is my next project. Like I just made the lip palette. And my next project is going to be to take this train case and clean it up. Because um, it's got like this kind of greasy dirt on the handle. Um, this one is from like the late 40s. So I got this at the vintage store for $5. Um, you know, and the mirror isn't super clean. It has a label of like someone 
that owned it before. And then ooh, you can see the inside. Um, and it has like in the front three little pouches for like little bottles. And then this in the back. Here is a bigger pouch. Oh, look, you can see up my nose. That's so cool. And you can you can see the ceiling. <gasps> my nose. All right. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm going to use these for makeup or art supplies or just, but, like, this is so cute. And I don't know why. Like, train cases could be my, and, and vintage, Luggage could become my new obsession. Like, it could replace calico bib aprons. Um, I think that I had to dream about it. And then there were some, like, laying out on the floor, and I started looking at them, and I'm like, you know, I don't ever intend to fly again. If I ever travel again, I want to take Amtrak or drive a car. Um, and I don't know. It's just... It's one of those energies that was out there, and now it's uh, in my lap. So, I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to show you the other travel case I got. This one um, is Samsonite, and so it's older. It doesn't have the key. It's dirty. needs to be clean. That's why I got it for only $5. Okay, so this is that other travel case. This is a men's travel case, and this is... Forecast, which is apparently a brand that Sears used to sell. Um, this one is from the early 70s and got this at the vintage store. It was $20. Um, there's a problem kind of with uh, the clasp in the front where it has to be perfectly horizontal for it to close. But this one still has the keys. So if I want to, and there's two of them, and the keys are like really cool looking, like it would almost be like cool to make a necklace or something out of these keys, because, wait, okay, I don't, can you, see? yeah, you can see that. It has like the little um, F, like with the wings on it on there that's just like really cool looking and they're like a really cool shape so um so, so fun and it has a mirror in here so like i suppose if this is a men's case it could be like your shaving mirror um and then it has a little tray in it down in here. Um, then at the front there's a little zipper pouch so if you were traveling with this um, you know and I, I don't know why you would, I don't think you could take this on airline anymore I mean you could but if you took it as your carry-on like then that's your carry-on it doesn't seem really cool but it has a little zipper pouch in the front here so that you could put anything that might explode from pressure changes um, in this plastic lined zipper pouch in the front. And I just, I really love the, um, the train cases and the luggage that I looked at today because they don't make stuff like this anymore. There's not this attention to detail. And, you know, even when stuff, like I, Kabuto? I think it is makes the makeup cases and they're plastic um, and so I have one that I've had for a really long time but it's just a different kind of like this one is plastic and then it's chrome um, so I assume that's like aluminum with some kind of plating on it but I mean this is like 40 years old and it still looks really awesome and if you think about the other one, <laughs> the other one is like 50, 60 years old, and it still is like, wow. So, yeah, I have to hit it kind of hard to close it. I guess that's why it's a men's case. All right. So, I think those would be really great for, um, I used to do art parties, so I would 
take my art supplies with. So this would be really cool to like put your paints in um, if you were going to travel with your art supplies. Um, it's a lot nicer than a plastic uh, tackle box that you bought at Walmart that after like five years the plastic's going to start to, to deteriorate and crack. And now this is 40 years old and all that's wrong is, you know, I have to push this hard. Oh, so, um, pretty amazing. And that's all like the non-food, non clothing stuff I got today. Uh, really fun. I'm so excited. I have like all these little projects, you know. Yay!